Once again, really quick before the episode starts, if you need a clan chat to join, feel free to join the village. We're growing in size, so come stop by and chat, and uh, enjoy the episode. Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to episode 50 of the Iron Man Progress series. We are halfway to 100, and I guess to celebrate that, we should spend 100 gold nuggets on a coal bag. Ouch. Guys, look where I am again. We're back at the Inferno. This place shut me down for a month straight. But we're back for the episode. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to reach Zuck today. Uh, my goal when I woke up this morning was to go get Aram's robe skirt, but I just hate Barrows way too much. Fuck that. I'll just do it with the. <laughs> I'll just use that as my mage. Like this will be okay. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I am. And we're playing in full screen again, just in case we make it to triple Jads again. I won't have that problem where the northwest one is cut off and I can't see his attacks. So, getting ready to jump in. I just really I basically just woke up. So. Good luck, me. And people said in the comments that they want to see footage of me actually killing things in the Inferno, which I can do, but I won't be able to commentate over the clips. Listen to my voice when I prayerfully, because I have to do this with game sounds on. So listen to this. Can you guys hear that, my voice? It's a little distorted, I assume. Because <laughs> I'm just using a cheap laptop mic, so... Yeah, I can record footage, but you won't hear me talking over it. So here's the first blob, wave 4, and I think we can all agree that this is the creature that causes the most amount of deaths in here. There's actually a really easy way to do it, if you just prayer flick every single tick, um, just alternate your prayer every tick, so like this. And then when he dies, the ranger will be trapped right there, and you can just blood barrage him down. Now, a really intimidating situation is when you have a ranger, or this could be a major, and a blob behind the same pillar. They could alternate positions and it wouldn't affect this method, but the way to handle it, it's really nice since this attacks every four ticks, and this detects on the third tick and then attacks on the sixth tick. It actually works out perfectly if you just do blob flicking, as long as on the first tick you're praying against the one that attacks on the four tick cycle, it works out perfectly, so it's just like this. <laughs> Alright, well that's kind of embarrassing, but I ended up getting dropped on my head on wave 32 to just a really bad spawn. Maybe I'm just a bad player, I don't know. But I found these rune darts in my bank from killing metal dragons, and they're poisoned. I can't put them in my blowpipe, and right now I'm using adamant darts. So, I'm going to buy a cleaning cloth from this guy, and use these. We're not actually too far from making our own rune darts, but... I mean, there's no reason why I shouldn't do this, and he gave me a rune spear for some reason, so let me clean that and put that in the bank, I guess. <laughs> Every time I have to go into my junk tab to pull out my fury, it feels so good. <laughs> I can't wait till I have to go into my junk tab to pull out my fire cape. I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna put it there just to motivate myself. <laughs> Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't- Fuck. Oh, don't do this. Oh my god, damn it. That was a close call. <laughs> oh my god. Whew, that was a lucky spawn. Oh my goodness. This is just the remnants of wave 59, so we're basically on wave 60, and I still have 8 Ceridoman brews. I just looked back at my old video, and last time I got to wave 60, I had 4 Ceridoman brews. Oh, we're getting better even though I don't feel like it. We're getting so much better. I just doubled my supplies to get to this wave. Oh my... God, I just got stacked out for like a 90. Oh, I walked around the corner one tick too early. Oh, man. Look at the supplies. Look at the supplies, man. That was such a good run. That was the one. That was the one, dude. Man, I wish they would tell you how long that attempt took. 
Well, in other news, we just did a farm run and we just passed 1,000 grimy torstals, so... I've also decided I'm not going to do any more infernal runs until I get better magic gear. I'm sorry, that place demotivates me so much. I literally do not enjoy the game anymore. When I wake up, I have to do the inferno for like the whole day. It's not worth it for me. It's just, it's not worth it, man. So I'm going to go do some raids and maybe some bandos and do some other things. I mean, I will go back to it, but I need better magic gear first. I'm not splashing for 20 minutes on a melee minion anymore with an Aram's top and an ancient staff. <sighs> <sighs> oh ancestral robe bottoms dude nice that's the first pair or the first piece of ancestral i think i've ever seen that's the part i need but null seven i don't know who he is but congratulations brother check out this pile of volcanic ash i originally came here to mine like maybe 40 or 50 somehow we're walking away with 886 of them that's fine with me. 443 buckets of ultra compost. <laughs> I guess that was time well spent. I'm gonna mine one more. Okay, I don't know what happened to mining one more, but we're at 1,050 now. I gotta force myself to leave or I never will. Guys, look at this. We just passed 200 million XP on our account. I remember recording a clip not that long ago saying we just passed 150 mil. Now we're past 200 mil. Man, this account is destined for greatness, dude. We're also 150k from 99 attack and 240k from 99 magic. So should be getting those this episode. Then all we have left is defense for 99 combat stats. 200 mil XP, you're telling me? If I funnel all of my XP from all of these skills into one skill, we'd have it maxed? How do people do that? Okay, first hard clue scroll in over a month from that Hellhounds task. Uh, what do we get? Yeah, yeah, that's a warm welcome back. <laughs> this level has certainly taken me long enough. There it is. We're finally 99 attack. I've been 98 for over a month now. I don't think we have any use for that cape, though. It's unlimited Warriors Guild token, so I'm not going to pick it up, but it looks nice to have max melee stats now. On to defense. All right, let's try this hard clue scroll thing again. This is from Abyssal Demons. That one's better. We're getting there. We're getting there. Woke up and saw an ecumenical key just sitting in my bank, so I geared up to do a Ceridoman trip. I think I'm going to try to do about 200 kills today. I'm in the mood, and all we're missing from here is the Armadale crossbow, so let's try to get it. Oh god, no way! No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, we just got the pet. No way, no way, how do I get- uh, uh, Telly, Telly. Oh! As if we just got the pet. No way. Oh, yeah, we got the freaking Ceridoman pet, dude. From Bandos, we got a curve bone. From Armadale, we got a curve bone. But from Ceridoman, we got the pet. That's the right one in 5k. Oh, man, we hit the good one this time. Okay, so it's time to ensure this thing. But really quick, look in my clan chat. So we got the pet on 534. I, all I said was, I'm at Sarah right now. I can't type. And this guy goes, calling pet on 532. He was two kills off calling a 1 in 5k. That is absolutely insane. Let's ensure this thing, though. Totally worth the uh, money. I definitely don't want to lose this one. This is probably my most prestigious pet now. The other ones, they're... Yeah, they're not that dope. This one, however, <laughs> I really like the Seraphit. No way! No way! Raid number 200, we got an arcane prayer scroll. Yo, we got augury. Oh my goodness. Yes. Don't mind the time and don't mind the points. We were just practicing some duo raids and I completed my spell book. Oh, I mean my, my prayer book. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> All right, guys, let's consume the arcane prayer scroll and complete our prayer book. We now have Augury. When I do go back to the Inferno, I will be using that. That is so good on uh, for Blood Barraging. And also, I can use that next raid for the Ulm Hand. Whew, man, we're a Master Magician now. Well, we're a Master Magician in 228k more XP, but that's close enough for me. 13,500 Herbal XP. Wow, that is crazy. It reminds me of Effigies.
You're kidding me. You're joking. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> we got another Dex. On 200, we got the Arcane. Two kills later, on 202, we got the Dex. That's nearly a back-to-back. -back. I'm sorry, Inspect Iron doesn't have it. He wants a deck so bad. I'm sorry, buddy. 61. It's basically 62 mil. That's fucking mental. Another 13.5k or Blur XP. <laughs> Four more to go. I was streaming, and I couldn't quite record because my computer can't handle recording and streaming at the same time, but kill 579, we actually picked ourselves up another Ceridomen Sword, so that is Sword. Ceridomen Sword, number four on the account. From that Ceridomen trip, we also picked ourselves up a hard clue scroll from a minion, so we're gonna get ourselves a fucking Runecrafter starter kit, dude. Okay, I guess I did a Scotizo kill, and the hard clue from that ended in the same exact spot as last time. So, let's see if we get another shitty reward. Oh, a master clue! No way! No way, we just got a holy blessing! Oh, I needed the Serodome blessing for so long. Oh my god, I'm so happy with that. Can we do the first step of this? Show this to Sherlock? Short answer, no, but we're gonna try. Well, I guess the day has come when I need to get Lumberjack gear, huh? We got cut a redwood log while sporting the finest lumberjack gear. We can cut a redwood log if we get a plus five wood cutting boost. We don't have the lumberjack gear, but I've heard that's a very fast set to get. So I'll get that tomorrow. I'm going to bed right now. Just hope step two of this isn't a fucking torso. And there it is. All right, that's the lumberjack boots. So we have the full set now. That took about what time is it that took about 40 minutes oh i got the boost but it went down right after i started chopping oh damn it that took like an hour Ugh. come on 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 master lumberjack nice thank you so now we need a pharaoh scepter and a full set of metaphyte robes so i guess it's a good thing that they're making me get all these items we need for master clues because i would like to start doing these more consistently uh, we're about five hours dry on the scepter in total, so maybe just a few more hours today and we can get it. Uh, yes, 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 pick that up, pick that up, we got it. Oh, we got the Pharaoh Scepter, man, how long did that take? Dear Lord, I think we were here for three and a half, maybe four hours. Whew, that was, that took a little bit longer than I thought. How much is this thing? That's a monkfish. 4.7 mil. So we made about a mil an hour today. That's not bad, I guess. I'm going to use this one for the clue, and then I'm probably going to make the occult altar in my house. Oh, man. That is so freaking nice, dude. Well, that was a really long master clue, but we managed to finish it and knock out a lot of requirements for future master clues as well. This is master clue number 15 on the account, I believe, and we still don't have a single unique from them. Please. Damn it. Okay, that was only 13. That was only 13, but... Speaking of master clues, by the way, I didn't realize I would piss off so many people when I dropped that last master clue for having a torso requirement. I even had clans PMing me saying that they will just let me leech a torso off them for free, and I had friends offering to pay for the torso. Look, look, I will get the torso. <laughs> you get back in there and get that damn cape. No, thank you. I will get that torso legitly next time i get the master clue okay we'll make a deal on that i will get the torso myself thank you though damn our last serosword was on 580 here we are 598 we're getting our fifth serosword on the account i think so we're two kills off 600 at least we got something this trip hey and on 628 kills we get a god sword shard too which might complete blade number six we either need two or three to complete that i, I don't know why we need all these blades Okay, let's have a look and let's see if that is the God Sword shard that we need. We needed exactly that shard. You're freaking joking me, man. That is ridiculous. Freed up two bank spaces there, man. Third spare blade. Third spare blade. What the hell? Oh, come on, man. 
<laughs> Adam and Javelins into a death by the minions. It's all good. We have some more ecumenical keys to get back in fast. Ayo. Ayo, quit playing. Hey, come on, man. No. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, wait. Oh, am I dead? I am most certainly dead. Hmm. And I don't have any more ecumenical keys. Me okay, that is kill 700. That is for sure the final kill of the night. I can feel the servers are getting funky again. I'm gonna pick up my shit <laughs> and get out of here. My first death pile unfortunately did disappear. I lost like eight Raynar seeds. No way did that just happen. Zilliana kill count 704. From the boss, we received diamonds. From a minion, we got a Sarah sword. Well, on 722, looks like we got a Sarah Domin's Light. I can't be mad at that one. We've only had one in 722 kills. So we were due a second one. I can't use it, but... Sure, second Sarah Domin's Light, man. So, bank space is starting to become a really big issue for me on this account. So I made my Zerka member, and I got everything out of my bank that I think I don't need. I finished every god book, and I honestly never see myself alking any of this. This is all just junk, but I'm going to drop it off to this account. It's sad to see it go, because it's worth quite a bit, but that frees up... How many bank spaces? 21? Yeah, that frees up 21 bank spaces of just pure junk, so... Rest in peace, the well, we did another Sarah Omen trip, and it looks like we ended on 781 kill count. Thank you, buddy. Um, well, let's not hit you right a heart. Um, I'd love to get the Armadillo crossbow this episode, but it's been five days since my last upload, so I have to cut this one off here and upload it for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Happy New Year. If you did enjoy, can I please just ask you to click that like button down below? It only takes a few seconds, and I appreciate it very much. And also, if you finished my series and you want something else to watch still, you can always click the links in the description down below to go to my friend's YouTube channel. There's going to be two links down there, and they both do Iron Man content very similar to mine, so check them out if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in that next episode. See ya.